I'm not interested in, in being in the kitchen for a long time and that's a very quick dish to, to make. So sodium not only is required to get the glucose into the blood, it's also required to get the water into the cell. So it's sodium. It's the third most vital element needed for life. And you can get that information on the four vitals in any anatomy and physiology book, chemistry book, biology book. I'm just giving you the facts here. So as you can see, water is very important. But so is the salt. And again, the potassium is found in all your fresh fruits and vegetables. Calcium cannot get into the cell by itself. It needs vitamin D. When vitamin D is present, the calcium is pulled inside the cell. And remember, I showed you the other day that calcium is called the king because when it gets into the cell, all the other minerals piggyback on the back of calcium. Something else happens. I'd like to go back to this for a moment. When the magnesium is put on the tongue and you have the glass of water, or half a glass, a little bit later the other half glass, that magnesium pulls the water inside the cell. And in the bilayed membrane that is around every cell, there's a little motor. And when the water's pulled through the membrane and into the cell, it causes that little motor to start spinning. And the spinning of that motor gives us a unit of energy. So when you're feeling a little tired or maybe a little bit peckish mid-morning, have the salt and have the water and you'll get a little bit of a pickup. So when everyone's going outside to have their cigarette or their cup of coffee, you have your crystal of salt, your glass of water. Absolutely, if you're working in an office, go outside and find a tree. Remember what the trees are giving off? Life-giving oxygen. Breathe deep, deeply from your abdominal muscle and that blast of oxygen. Remember what the oxygen does at the cellular level? Oxygen will give you 18 times more energy. We've looked at the inside of the workings of the cell a few times. And the way I explain it, it looks like there's one energy cycle per cell, but it is not true. So what I've drawn, you, drawn for you here is a whole lot of little energy cycles. In fact, in the muscle cell, you can have a hundred energy cycles to a muscle cell. I can hardly get my mind around that. And that's why the saying that you, you will receive more energy than you expend on your morning walk. Because each one of those little energy cycles will give 18 times more energy if enough oxygen is going into your body.